Welcome to First National Bank Arena. This is the entryway that graduating seniors take when they're about to enter First National Bank Arena floor for graduation. Normally there's where Jonathan Reeves sits for our sound booth. And normally there will be thousands of people up in the stands, friends and family here to celebrate the achievements of our graduates. Unfortunately, because of COVID-19, we won't be able to have that same celebration here on Saturday. But the good news is we will have a celebration. On August 8th, we will all gather together and have a celebration together. I thought it'd be useful though on, on today's uh, date to share with you a preview of what I was gonna tell our seniors on graduation day. I write a new graduation speech every May and then I use it the next couple of graduations as the faculty know they get to hear it over and over again. Uh, but this year I was going to talk about the notion of one degree hotter. I've seen a lot of students post something like that on social media recently and said, hey, I'm one degree hotter. And I start maybe thinking about what it means to be one degree hotter. And what I'll share with you in August is as a preview here is that one degree can make a huge difference in your life. One degree of extra work can make a huge difference. Think about this. Water that is 211 degrees is just really hot water. But water that is 212 degrees becomes boiling water. And boiling water creates steam. And steam has incredible potential energy that can be used to drive a locomotive. But for now, I thought it'd be interesting for you to hear from some of your fellow graduates and uh, uh, your fellow future alumni. You're, you're about to become alumni and we've got some alumni here who want to share with you their thoughts about what you're going to going through right now and also to share with you some, uh, some words of wisdom and uh, congratulations. So without further ado, here's some congratulatory notes from some of our alumni and some of our friends of Arkansas State University. Howdy, it's Matt Stoltz, voice of the Red Wolves. Just wanted to reach out to all of our 2020 graduates and say congratulations on your incredible achievement graduating from Arkansas State University. Really sorry you guys aren't able to walk today, but uh, look forward to seeing you back on campus for our commencement ceremony in August. And hopefully after that, we've got some football games to go to. Stay safe out there and keep those wolves up. Hey folks, Congressman Rick Crawford here. Let me be uh, one of the first to congratulate you on your achievement in 2020. It's been a tough year. You've shown a remarkable overcoming spirit and great red wolf resilience. Congratulations again. I look forward to seeing you at commencement in August. Hey, I'm Ashley McBride, and I wanted to wish the graduating class at Arkansas State 2020 a big giant congratulations. I know this isn't how you wanted to spend the remainder of your senior year, but like so many other things you tackle during your time at Arkansas State, you're nailing it. We need you out here in the world, and we're very excited for you. We're very proud of you. Hi, I'm Lynn Fry, Executive Vice Chancellor here at A-State. Also a member of the graduating classes of 1984 and 1990. I wanted to take just a minute to say congratulations to the class of 2020. I know this is probably not the way you plan to celebrate your graduation, but I also know that each of you are prepared and ready to take on the world. Again, congratulations and go out there and represent a state. Hello class of 2020, it's Claudia Raffo and I'm excited to get to celebrate you today. Congratulations to each and every one of you for graduating from the best university in the state. I'll always cherish the four years I spent in Jonesboro as a Red Wolf. I know the semester didn't end in a way any of us expected, but even though the ceremony has been delayed, it doesn't mean your accomplishments and your achievements are any less noteworthy. During my year as Miss Arkansas, one of the biggest life lessons I learned was to monitor and adjust, and I know you have become experts in that as well. Graduation is an exciting time in your life, and I have no doubt that Arkansas State has prepared you for your next chapter. Congratulations, Class of 2020, and as always, Wolves Up. Hello, Arkansas State graduates. Coach Anderson here. Just want to take a minute and tell you how proud I am of all of you. This is a huge accomplishment, a great day for you uh, to get your degree and, and postgraduate degree. So many guys and, and gals that have worked so hard, uh, overcome so much as well. There's, uh, there's probably a ton of just great stories uh, of things that have had to be 
uh, you know, overcome to get to this point. And so I know you feel a little robbed that you're not in a commencement ceremony today with family and friends in attendance yelling your name, not walking across the stage to see Dr. Danvis standing there, but uh, we'll do the best we can. Still a huge accomplishment. And so be proud. Today's about you. Uh, enjoy those that you can and understand that this is going to be uh, you know, the, really the next step of your life. And, and this is going to carry you on and do great things. Uh, so we're proud of you. We look forward to having you back as proud alum. I can't wait to get you back in this stadium, cheering us on when you can, so we can all get back together, hug necks, high five, and, uh, and just continue to do life together. But hey, have a great day. Congratulations. You've done a tremendous job and go Red Wolves. Hello, seniors. Wolves up from the home office. Hope all of you are well and looking forward to graduating. Congratulations on completing such a wonderful and long sometimes journey. Um, I wish we were gonna be on stage together and actually I would be walking with you, but just know that you have done an absolutely fantastic job in getting to the end of this journey and you now have a ticket to the land of opportunity because of your degree. Don't forget, you can always access career services online and in your job search. Wolves up, congratulations. Hello, Arkansas State graduates. My name is Terry Mahajer, Vice Chancellor of Arkansas State Intercollegiate Athletics. I just want to say congratulations to all the folks graduating from Arkansas State. I'm so sorry you won't be able to walk in your regular scheduled commencement. We look forward to seeing you back on campus in August for the ceremony. You'll be sure to face adversity like you've been through recently. This has been another opportunity for all of us to learn and adapt to the one constant in our life, and that is change. You are rising stars, and I know you'll be strong alumni who represent yourself and Arkansas State to the best of your ability. Best of luck, and go Rebels. Hi, my name is Dr. Lorena Neal McGregor. I'm a professor of psychology in the Department of Psychology and Counseling. I'm also president of the Faculty Senate. I am here on behalf of all of the Arkansas State University faculty to say congratulations to the spring 2020 graduates. You guys have made it. If you're an undergraduate student, you have managed to survive your freshman year and reading the Secret Lives of Red Wolves book. If you are a graduate student, you have managed to survive comprehensive exams and you have stood before your committee to defend your thesis or your dissertation. Regardless of your status, I am here to congratulate you. You should be celebrated. So on behalf of all of the faculty at Arkansas State University, I say, congratulations, well done. Wolves up. What's up, Red Wolf Nation? My name is Buddy Jewell. I'm from Osceola, Arkansas. I attended the university back in the late 70s, early 80s, and won a little TV show called Nashville Star a few years back. I had uh, a lot of success on the radio and still get to put on a cowboy hat and sing uh, around the world. I'm very blessed. Speaking of being very blessed, you guys are too. Even with all the COVID-19 stuff going on, and graduation being postponed, it doesn't uh, take away from all the hard work that you've put in over the past several years to get to this point. And I just want to congratulate you and tell you how proud I am of you. Hang in there, go make the world your own, and God bless you. Class of 2020, what it do, man? Congratulations, first and foremost, to everybody that's graduating, whether it took you three years, four years, five years, it don't matter. You made it, so big ups for that. Now it's time to go out there and find your job make you some real money because hey we all got student loans that we're still paying off and you guys are about to start paying them off so go find your job make some money make some guap moolah whatever you want to call it just go out there make big bucks congratulations good luck nothing but peace and prosperity for all of you seniors this is coach mike Bellotto, your head men's basketball coach here at arkansas state university i just want to send a congratulations on your graduation from this wonderful university I'm sorry you guys couldn't walk today for graduation, but remember this, this university is judged by their alumni. You're part of that distinct group right now. Throughout your time here at Arkansas State, you've gone through a lot of experiences. Use those to your advantage. Go seize the day. The world is yours for the taking. I look forward to seeing you guys in August to walk for commencement. Please come back and visit us and cheer on your family here. 
we got a lot of students that are trying to reach the goal that you've reached today, and that is to walk away with a diploma in hand. So this world is yours. Go take it, go be successful. We'll always be here to push you and help you and be here for you. And you'll always, forever and a day, be a Red Wolf. So go out there and kill it. Go Red Wolves. Hello, fellow Red Wolves. This is former Governor Mike Beebe, wishing you a congratulatory message on your graduation. I know these times are unusual. I know it's not the kind of graduation you intended, but you made it. You accomplished it. You're an alum. Don't forget your school. Don't forget Arkansas State. Congratulations. Hello, graduating class of 2020. It's Brandon Baxter from Brandon Baxter in the Morning on the big 1079K Fine and proud to be in-game host of A-State Athletics. If there's one thing I know for sure about this graduating class of 2020, is that you have brought so much energy, so much passion, and so much fun to Arkansas State University. I've been lucky enough to experience that firsthand at events like Order of the Pack, Pack Pride Night, A-State football, and A-State basketball. And from this point forward, every time you see the scarlet and black, or every time you see somebody do this, you will always think, wolves up for Arkansas State University. My favorite part of being an A-State trustee is celebrating graduation with you in person. Even though that's been delayed this year, I want to say congratulations and thank you for your resilience and adaptability. See you in August and go Red Bulls. Hey everyone, this is Coach Matt Daniel from Arkansas State Women's Basketball. Congratulations on graduating from A-State. I'm sorry you won't be able to walk in your commencement today, but we do look forward to having you back on campus in August to fully celebrate your day. Also, don't forget to get back to Jonesboro on campus as much as you can and catch as many games as possible. Have a great summer. We'll see you soon. Wolves up. Hi, I'm Martha Spack, Dean of Students. Congratulations to the class of 2020. I am often reminded of a famous quote from Fred Rogers who said, when I was young and I would see something scary on the news, my mother would always tell me, look for the helpers. You will always find people helping. I encourage you to think about those that helped you throughout this journey and to strive to always be a helper in your community. Good luck, Red Wolves. ASU graduates, congratulations. I know you might not have chosen this way to graduate in this time in the world, but it makes your family and friends no less proud of you. And I include myself in that. I'm really proud of you. And I hate to give advice to young people because I feel a lot of times you know more than I do. But one piece of advice I would give you is that find out what you love and become good at it. And as a friend of mine says, show the muse you're serious. Show up for yourself every day. I really wish I could be with you. I was supposed to be. But as the song says, we'll meet again. Much love to all of you. Good work and good luck. Well, I hope you enjoyed uh, hearing from one of your fellow graduates, uh, future Dr. Roseanne Cash. She was gonna get her honorary doctorate with you all uh, this weekend, but she's not going to do it now, but she will do that at a later date. Uh, but I enjoyed seeing her on video and I know she wanted to be here just as badly as you all wanted to be here. I also hope you enjoyed hearing from both uh, former Arkansas State University students and also people who've been involved in the lives of Arkansas State over the years. They are all passionate about A-State, just like I know you'll be passionate about A-State when you leave here. They're also passionate for your success as individuals. Our faculty and staff and all these people that are here to support you at A-State, not only concerned about you as students, but also as alumni. And so we are excited to watch your future. We believe at Arkansas State that we are changing people's lives here. And I hope that you believe that we changed your life for the better. I also hope that you will think about how I can use that extra degree of effort to turn water into steam, to become something powerful, and to change the lives of people around you today, tomorrow, and from here on out. Red Wolves, I'm really proud of you. I can't wait to see you back here on August 8th when we graduate together. For now, mask up and wolves up. <laughs>